In the glass castle, the three oldest Wallace children, Lori, Jeanette, and Brian, live a very poor and disadvantaged childhood. Their father, Rex, is an alcoholic and a smoker. He is unable to keep a job for very long and is constantly letting his kids down. Their mother, Rosemary, is extremely lazy and irresponsible. She doesn't take care of her kids and can be very selfish. She is determined to become a famous artist, but this is an unrealistic goal. She only ends up wasting the family's money. Both the parents are very well educated, but choose to live this poor lifestyle. Despite the disadvantages that the Walsh children face, they are all very bright and talented. They have goals to get out of the current town they live in, Welsh. The oldest daughter, Lori, has saved money in a piggy bank to get out of Welsh and begin her new life in New York. The plan is for Jeanette to follow and eventually their younger brother, Brian, will join them in New York. Unfortunately, their inconsiderate father found Lori's piggy bank and took all of the money out of it. The two girls are devastated and lost hope in the idea of getting away from Welsh. Dad, you stole our money! What are you talking about? You took our money. That's all the money we have left. It looks like someone got in the pay bank now, didn't they? Do you have to know what happened? You took our money. That's what happened. Uh, why are your two dollars? Suit yourself. Dad, why are you doing this to us? Why? I'll never get out of here. I'll never get out of here. What are we going to do now? We'll never get to New York. That was the last of our money. We're going to be stuck in much forever. What's wrong, kids? It's not really that bad here. You just need to learn how to deal with the inconveniences in life. Don't worry. My art carry is going to take up for Are you serious, Mom? We live in a dump and it's so cold at night. Dad's always drunk and stealing our money. And you don't do much to help around with the house either. What's the point of doing so well in school and learning all these life lessons if we're never going to go anywhere with it? We're going to be stuck in love forever. I want to move to New York and live better life. Are you saying I don't want to take care of my family? You girls and Brian are doing just fine. Have I ever let you down? You do all the time. No, no. Yes, Dad, you have. This family's falling apart. Now that all our money is gone, we have to find a new way to get out of the world. Jeanette, I can't stay here anymore. I know if I try hard enough, I can get a scholarship to college. You have a plan, and I will continue to work for the school newspaper the way it is. And maybe someone will realize how down that I am. Maybe then I can go to college. Girl, college education is important, but I don't want you girls to get away from this fact. I just need you guys to be around the house helping take care of things. I'm so busy with my art career, and your little sister Marie is such a hassle to take care of. I just can't do everything by myself. I just need some time for myself. Mom, you and Dad have nothing to help out with the family. You're letting us all down. Think about your children instead of just yourself. Lori, do not talk to your mother like that. You, your mom and I are doing just fine. Yeah. Jeanette, I'm never going to get out of this place. I know, me neither. I'm always did to deserve such horrible parents. Ha, huh, I know. There's got to be another way to get out of here. Let's think. Well, maybe you can still make it to New York. How much money can you make in the last month? About 40. Jeanette, it's not enough. There's no way I can get, 40, get there on $40. It's over. We will be stuck here forever in Welsh, living this miserable life with our parents. Oh, lighten up, Lord. We will eventually get out of here. I just know it. Well, I lost all hope when Dad took our piggy bank. Do you know how much money we saved in there and how long it took us to get there? And then he just barges in and takes it? I'm disgusted with him, with Mom, with everything. Lord, I know it's forever now, but you have to calm down. We certainly won't get anywhere if we sit here complaining about it. We need to change it. You're right. I know you are. But to tell you the truth, I don't even care about New York anymore. I don't care about anything. I had a dream to go to New York City and make it big. But now that dream is shattered, and once Dad took the money, I'm done. Honey, do you think we're doing a bad job raising the kids? Why, of course not. They're turning out great. I don't have any regrets about the way we are raising them. Why do you ask? I don't think we are. I mean, Lori is killing herself because she cannot make it to New York. Why did you steal the money, Rex? You know why. I needed a drink. More like you needed to get drunk. It's the same thing, isn't it? I mean, anyway, I just went to their room, saw the stuff, the pig stuff with money. It broke so easily, I just had to take it all. I don't know, but I still think it's wrong. You're a child. 
children. Don't you want them to be happy and successful in life? I don't even know why I'm still with you. I don't like the way children are living and, and they hate it too. I don't care. Go tell your soft story that someone cares. That's it, Rick. I'm living forever. I really messed up this time. I guess the truth is, I know that my kids have a horrible life. The alcohol takes that pain away. So without the alcohol, I just want to kill myself the way I'm raising my kids. I'm really sorry, kids.